Hi there, my name is Fila Bacon, and do you have a rabbi from another planet? Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring the little bell. Say my do that. Say blah blah blah. So you're notified to a new video's drop. That was that, that didn't go very smoothly, now did it? This is a, this is the level of prof uh, professionalism you get on YouTube. Normally, I would stop the I would stop the, uh, the the video at this point and just start again. I'm what 16 minutes, 16 seconds in. Uh, no, you know what? I'm just plowing forward. That's just the way I am because that pretty much was CBS. <laughs> it's really to just plow forward. So uh, it's Sunday, Sunday morning, and Friday Friday evening uh, Israel time. Uh, I I just saw a, a very interesting announcement come out that there is a new Star Trek series uh, coming out. Oh, God, not another one. Were they torturing us with another one? Yes, yes, they are. Uh, and I, I expected... Um, uh, oh, yeah, so then, I'm, I'm, if you're new to my channel, I'm a rabbi. I'm a real rabbi. And on Friday nights, it's uh, the Jewish Sabbath starts in the last 25 hours. You know, I'm offline during that time. So, you know, Friday evening happened. And then, you know, it's, uh, Saturday... Then around like eight o'clock Saturday, Sabbath ended. I came offline. I came back online, I should say. And uh, I was supposed to see lots of videos, lots of people talking about, you know, lots of buzz about it, people discussing it. No, not a thing. <laughs> yeah, not a thing at all. I, I just don't think anybody cares anymore. I don't think it's uh, it, it, the, the, the thing. Yeah, and I don't think the announcement was as real as they were saying. But we're going to read through the whole thing. I'm going to give you my analysis of, uh, on it. But before we get there, I'm giving away a, uh, a good prize tonight. Uh, I give prizes away each week on this channel. The, what I'm giving away this week is... Doctor Who, the Carnival Monsters, a stonking great uh, adventure starring uh, John Pertwee as a Doctor from 1973. I really like this story. All you need to do to win it, it's a special edition two disc uh, with tons of extras. All you need to do to win it is subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel and leave the hashtag Miniscope. Now, let's say you're not interested in that in that DVD. That's no problem. No problem. Because then you can still subscribe to the channel. I will still be happy if you do. Like, share, subscribe. All those things are fantastic. But especially subscribe. We're getting towards a thousand subs, guys. We're getting closer. So if you can help me out and you subscribe, that'll be fan dabby double dozy. So you know what wasn't fan dabby double dozy? This new announcement. And we're going to read it from Ble Bleeding Crawl. Because Bleeding Crawl is the most shilly of shill websites. So it's got to be some kind of like funny shill. Uh, uh, um, Spin a uh, spin on it. So what's the announcement? Star Trek: Strange New Worlds. Good title, actually, very good title. Uh, Pike, uh, Pike, Spock, and number one uh, on set for a new series. A uh, uh, number one set for new series, not on set. That's the point. Uh, they, I don't think this has been funded. I think it's been greenlit, and I think they've announced it to try and uh, generate buzz about it. But I think it, it, it's uh, it becoming, it, it actually be, it becoming real. It becoming a TV show. Actually being sure is all dependent on there being sufficient enough interest from it. I don't think there is. I think it's too little too late. And it's keeping in all the main problems that have driven the, uh, the fan base away from Star Trek. But listen, it's still good that they finally worked out. They finally worked out who their paying customers are. And now they're trying to appeal directly to them. But I think it's probably a case of, just too little, too late. So let, let's let's read what this has to say. Uh, not by Rich Johnson, I'm afraid. Uh, the most shilly shiller of the, uh, in the world. Uh, this is by Ray, uh, Ray Fluke. Who so, uh, is it? Ethan Van Skyver says, isn't that bad? I really don't know anything about him at all. Fine. Let's go. CBS All Access's Star Trek universe has officially expanded. Well, yeah, no. It officially expands when it, when it, when it expands. It, uh, it, it officially wants to expand, but we knew that anyway. Uh, with the streaming service announcing a new series that uh, viewers of Discovery have been asking for since the second season. Okay, no, 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 no. What people viewers of Discovery have been asking for uh, since the second season, and quite a lot since the first, is for it to stop. Just stop. No more Discovery. It's very, very bad. It's very, very bad. Now, on Discovery, you actually brought in another character, uh, 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 Captain Pike, who was pretty good, who was actually very good. It was, was kind of... Star trek -y. so that the audience said, oh, give us some of that instead. So that's not saying, oh, can we have some, uh, can, can, please give us more of your Discovery-flavoured uh, Captain Pike. No, 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 nobody wants that. We were just saying that Captain Pike was the least objective, but, and actually kind of a good part of the, uh, Star Trek Discovery Season 2, which was legitimately one of the worst seasons of TV I've ever seen in my life. I, I, I normally don't watch anything that unbelievably bad. Okay, CBS uh, All Access has given a full series order to Star Trek New Worlds based on the years of Captain Pike. Answer Mount uh, was in charge of the Enterprise. Okay, again, good news. Probably too little, too late. Uh, uh, anyway, the series will also be 
Uh, welcome back, Rebe- Rebecca Moraine, who, who was good. I didn't like the right-on character. And Ethan Peck uh, is number one. Ethan Peck has signed up as a Spock. Ethan Peck never convinced me as Spock. You know, he was, uh, who was it? Uh, Zachary Quinto. He convinced me as Spock. That, that, that casting really worked. Ethan Peck, he just, he, I mean, when he had the beard, a little bit. But now he just looks, I mean, look at that picture. It looks freaking awful. Uh, it doesn't look like Spock at all, but never mind. You know what? I, that, if that was the biggest, uh, 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 what's the word, uh, objection I had, I wouldn't have that much of an objection, but, uh, no, I, I laugh, it's not. Uh, set one decade before Kirk took control of the bridge, the new series will follow the trio or as the USS Enterprise explores new worlds across the, across the galaxy. Again, Strange New Worlds is a, is a good, uh, uh, is a good title. Uh, when we heard fans say, outpouring a love for Pike, number one, and Spock when they bought, uh, when they bought the Star Trek Discovery last season, we uh, we meant it," said executive producer Alex Kirby. No, 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 no. Again, stop lying. Stop lying. I know you're a Hollywood uh, Hollywood piece of filth, but stop lying. It, it, you're not you're not catering to the fans. You just worked out that that we we that we're the only people who are going to buy this crap, and you need us on board to buy this crap. Without us, you can't you can't continue. And I think we were gone. I think we said sayonara. I don't really care. How cool this looks! Uh, I, I don't. Also, it's not. It's, it might be greenlit. It's not funded. You know, there's a difference between being greenlit and funded. It needs to find the money, and you know, you need to get either Amazon or Netflix drawling. And if look, if there was this incredible reaction online, you you, you might have had it. Crickets. It's been absolute. That that's what. Uh, that's how disastrous you have been to this franchise. You really, really killed it. They just got it. You just got to get your name off it. Uh, these iconic kind of characters will have uh, have deep histories of Star Trek canon, which we don't want to get your fingers on. Yet so much of the stories have yet to be told, with a Kiefer and Henry at the helm. Ah! Uh, who's Henry? I can't imagine Henry. So good. <laughs> Henry's good news. Uh, the Enterprise, its crew, and its fans. And its fans. They keep saying fans, 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 fans. They keep saying fans. Uh, we don't care. We don't care anymore. You, you know, you can tell us, oh, we love your fans, we love you, love you, love you as much as you like. As, like, yeah, as long as you, as long as there's no mayor culprit, you know, maybe say sorry. You love us, say sorry to us, but no. Uh, uh, our in for an extraordinary new journey uh, to new frontiers in the Star Trek universe. Yeah, maybe. I doubt it. I doubt it's going to happen. Star Trek Street Team Worlds begins with a pre- uh, premiere written by Akiva Goldsman. Not a good pedigree in the story by Goldsman, Kurtman, Je- Jenny Lumet, Jimmy Lumet. Go- oh my God. Okay. These are all like the worst people ever to write Star Trek. These are terrible people. Uh, Goldsman, Kurtzman, Lumet will serve as executive producer alongside Henry Alonzo Myers. Don't know. Uh, Heather Caden, Rod Roddenberry. How many of these ass clowns do they need to make such a bad show? And Trevor Ro- Ross, uh, Aaron Bryant. Uh, whew, Akila Cooper and Danny Perez will serve as co-executive producers. Goldman will remain uh, executive producer and a key part of the creative team on Picard, CBS Studios, uh, Secret Hideout, um, uh, Roddenberry Entertainment to produce. Uh, there's one more paragraph. Then we're going to re- see here their uh, uh, their announcement, which is so like really. It was a safety say, Look, I'll do anything. I'll do anything. I'll, I'll suck your dick. I'll suck your dick. Just say you like this, okay? This is essentially what they were doing. <laughs> but listen, no, no, my word. We're gonna watch it for it in a second. Uh, this is a dream come true, literally says Goldman. Yes, I can't believe they haven't fired me. Hey, I have imagined myself on the bridge of the Enterprise since the early 1970s. I'm honored to be a part of its continuing journey, along with Alex Henry and the fine folk at it, CBS. For uh, for Julie uh, McNamara, Vice Pre- uh, Executive Vice President and Head of Program at CBS All Access, it was all about the characters uh, uh, characters connected uh, with, with, the, with the viewers. Yes! You, know, you noticed that we utterly hated everything you've been doing. Have, have we not been loud enough about that for you? Yeah, I okay. guess. But honestly, you're, uh, you're addressing a symptom and not the cause. And that's why it hasn't taken off. That's why you haven't got, it, got, got any traction. Fans fell in love with Answer Mike Re- and Rebecca May and Ethan X portrayals of these iconic characters. No, we found them uh, le- less uh, repulsively uh, distracting and awful than the characters you gave us in Discovery. Right? Yeah, yeah. Look, okay. How can I? How can I? How can I explain this? Let's say, let's say I uh, I take a dump, you know, on the ground. I take two more pants down. I take a nice big fat poo on the ground. Now that's going to be pretty disgusting, unless unless I poo 
on a pile of vomit and excrement, right? Then if I poo on a pile of vomit and excrement, and that poo is actually kind of, you know, uh, kind of clean in comparison, uh, they're going to say, that poo looks fantastic. Oh, I fell in love with that poo. That's exactly what happened uh, on Sunday's Discovery last season. The new series will be a perfect complement to the franchise, bringing a whole new perspective. Yeah, we don't. No, bring back the Star Trek perspective. That's what we, we don't want a whole new perspective. We want the Star Trek perspective. That will be lovely. Uh, and a series of adventures to Star Trek. Now, uh, <laughs> no, we're going to listen to the video. And, oh, I'm telling you, it sounds like a crack whore trying to get some work from the fans. The fans who they, you know, they spent their time pissing all over. Now they suddenly realize, oh, wait a minute. We don't we need something to buy this stuff. So let's hear what they got to say. Any second now. You've got to, oh, no, you've got to click it again. Strange. New. Worlds. You asked. We listened. Okay. See? We're, we're listening. We're doing what you want now. Please forget everything in the past. We listen. Okay, da darling, darling. If we listen, you wouldn't be in it. Yeah, okay. You look more like Spock now than you did in the TV show. You look nothing like him. You don't convey anything of him whatsoever. Okay. We've only got, only got 54 seconds more to go. Okay. No, no panic, guys. It's happening. Well, I'm so glad I finally get to share this news with you guys. Speaking just for myself, I have never received more love from a fan base okay, than okay. I have from the Star Trek family. Without you. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, again. I know you receive so much love because you were. Okay. I'll give you another, uh, uh, was it another analogy. You remember Ground? You remember 9 11? What, what wasn't such a fun time, right? Uh, in. In the rubble, in Ground Zero, you know, in that in that horror, we had the the incredible volunteers and and and, uh, and firefighters uh, doing their best to see if they can save any one person. Yeah, nobody was really happy to be there. Nobody <laughs> really, no was like, oh yay, yay, we're there. You, okay, you stood out in a, in a pile of excrement, and uh, you you were slightly less awful than the excrement around you. You were, and you gave people hope. You gave people hope. They were going to get Star Trek, okay? And, and it does did seem pretty pretty simple to us. So, wait a minute. You got the, the, the Enterprise set. You got the bridge. You got these people. Just make a freaking series, idiots. Just do that. And, you know, you, okay, bit of advice. Do it on a lower budget. You don't need that big budget. Do it on a lower budget and have ideas rather than spectacle. Ideas rather than spectacle. It's very simple, but, again, it's pretty hard for you ask clowns over a <laughs> secret hideout. But we listen. We're listening to you now, Master. Oh, yeah. But, oh, yes, boss. We're sorry. We'll be good now. This wouldn't be happening. So thank you so much. I can't wait to put on that gold Starfleet uniform. Well, don't hold your breath, darling, because uh, it's got to be funded yet. And I don't think it, I don't think you're, you're going to be in luck. I really don't. And deliver number one right along Captain Pike and Spock. It is a huge honor. And it means even more for us to be able to announce this right now at a time. You know, again, they're calling it an honor, showing respect to Star Trek. They're talking to the fans. They're talking to that fan gene inside you. That fan gene that felt so offended at their lack of respect for this thing that we all love, the Star Trek. That's what, that's what they're trying to fix. I don't think it's going to work. I don't think it's going to work. Okay, we got, oh God, how much? 20, 24 more seconds ago. Time when so much of the planet is hurting. The ethos of Star Trek is so curious and welcoming. And unifying. So, so maybe you shouldn't have spent like uh, a few last few years making an incredibly divisive show that said it literally hated you if you had white skin color and you're a male. Okay, like maybe you shouldn't have done that then if you wanted to go for that unifying feel. Yeah, listen, uh, look, uh, you can make your own decisions up for yourself. I, uh, I, I'm, I'm just giving you advice. And we're gonna get to work on a classic Star Trek show that deals with optimism and the future. Oh, my God. They're saying everything right. They're saying, I'll tell you, yeah, everything. They, okay. The more of them say, oh, we, we didn't hear anything. Yeah, Star Trek Discovery is so, so successful. Really? Really? If it's so successful, why? Why the, like, the, the handbrake turn? Okay, why the, you know, to exactly what we've been screaming at you for the last two years. You idiots. Oh, well, you finally, you finally worked out there's a pandemic and things might be drying up. You realize you might have to sell something to people again. Here we go. I can't wait. And I guess there's only one more thing to say. Hit it. Hit it? That, that's, his new, that's his new catchphrase? Well, okay, fine, whatever. So there you go. Uh, Star Trek Strange New World. Great title. 
uh, good premise. Uh, <laughs> going to be yeah, ter- be a terrible series if it's made because it's made by idiots who don't understand nothing about Stardew. But at least they understand what they actually have to say now to try and get our interest. But dude, guys, 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 too little, too late. Don't think anybody's interesting. Don't think any, anybody's, anybody's biting. And I don't think this is going to make it to series. My name is Fila Beckett, the evil rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe. And ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. Yeah!